the madman. What shall I get in my first arena? Shall it be great success? First time is on the house. Oh dear god. <laughs> I think I dodged like the bottom three, but I think I got bottom four. That is bottom four. Now the good news is I'm in the uh I'm in the newbie pool. And people misplay Warlock because of tap. So here we go. We can do it. We can do it. Commander? Solid. Treasure Guard, solid. Ooh, Hollow Abomination. Hey, this looks just like my free-to-play deck that I just had. Oh, also, I'll level up the Warlock. That's a good reason to have picked Warlock. I mean, uh, on top of it just being the best pick, obviously. No Private. It's actually a good card, I think. With Upside. Infiltrator. Looks like I got the uh, Zoo set up here. 2 mana, 3, 2. With Upside. Ugh. On a Nazoth. It's good in Battlegrounds, why not here? Sidekick. Mule, nice. 4-5-4. Four, four. Discovering a beast, maybe not so good. This can sometimes get some sick value. 4-5-4, four, four, I guess. That was your deck. That Tower Sergeant could actually work. My god, there was a... Those other cards is win rate. We're not getting offered very high quality cards, which is probably due to picking Warlock. The other uh, classes give you higher quality cards. This says two, but I think it's also three in the arena, right? It is still three. Okay, it is still the better card. Arguably, like, it's hard to say if it's better or worse because it's three. Three mana, two, four in the arena. Ooh, Dreaded Mount. I imagine that's quite good. City Architect is also just good, but I like the Dreadsteed Valley. Reef Walker, that's a card. Demonic Assault, that's a card. Good old Kraken has seen better days, but it's up against trash. I'm a warlock, I can actually make that work, but no. Flame Imp's actually a good card. Uh, this just speaks to how bad warlock's cards are. That is a 5 mana 610 with taunt. That's pretty good. Oh, I forgot to show the add on the whole time. My bad. I've been picking mostly the highest win rate cards, but the uh, the win rates on these have all been very, very bad for what it's worth. Ooh, Azure Drake. I've been seeing like basically all the cards uh, show up as 50% or less. It is just because the Warlock gets offered worse cards on average. The Demonic Assault. That's a pretty good one. Spawn of Deathwing. 4-4-5. Four, four, it's Yeti. I do have a situational card, so Yeti is okay. Deck definitely wants to curve. It's a zoo deck. It's the final pick. On 3, I can only play Fiendish Circle or Reef Walker or Spawn of Nazoth or Dreaded Mount if I already have something. Now on 4, I've got 3-4-5... Five good options and then a four. That is better if I have circle. I'll go circle, I guess. Now, challenge another arena player and see how your deck holds up. The thing about this deck is even though it looks fine, I believe that the classes that have a really high win rate, they get some really insane cards in arena. Uh, so this is like, it's got a pile of fine cards, but it's going to um, not be very good when matched up against some insane cards. I'm almost tempted to keep Lion's Guard against uh, Hunter. And then I need to try to get my 1-drop, 2-drop. Hmm, that's pretty good. That's really good. I've got the uh, better cards in my deck here. Coin Trap. Okay.
How have none of them activated yet? I guess in case it's a uh, ice trap, I skip the Fenrir Circle this turn. Slight a uh, slight miss aim there by the hunter. It's actually dart trap. That's incredible. I managed to dodge all the traps. Alright, hit me! Time for the dream. Actually, do I just play this on turn one? No, I'll, I'll trade it because I'm greedy. Mostly because Demon Hunter. I would consider it against non-Demon Hunter. And just hero power and kill my poor imp. Aha, uh -huh, your three mana spell only summons three one ones, but mine summons four. How do you like that? God, that fiendish circle valley. Dang. That that fiendish circle just three for one. That's amazing. Pretty tempting. They've got to play minions. It's a good answer to a minion. I like it. Bella! Pass? No. Oh, of course. I believe Demon. Yeah, Demon Hunter is the second strongest class because of cards like those. It's a pretty insane card, right? OP OP. Imagine if he had another, he could clear this. That'd be gross. Don't think about it. Oh god, he's got it. Gross. I have things you never knew you wanted. <laughs> the 
those other two cards. They were so sad. I could see this having use. Get rid of those coils. My hero power is getting really bad. Thank goodness I have that insane card. Hmm. Forgot about Flame Reaper, but definitely should not forget about Flame Reaper. Worked out well here. Oof, okay. A dream. A wicked shipment trade into a wicked shipment. No, that's impossible. Draw a new card. Oh, he's got a fancy coin. Oh no. How is it that you get this coin? All the Baron's cards. Or Baron's Tavern Pass? Hmm. Oh, I totally forgot to change my card back. Oh, that's a strong card. But Dreaded Man on three. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, get my uh, Dread Steed Valley going. How would you say the free-to-play experience is like? I mean, so far so good. You get some really big bursts of power early with your initial quests. Get to open a bunch of packs with the early, like, legendary guaranteed. Get a bunch of the core set. If you want to, apparently there's that, what, like, 15 bucks for a legendary and 40 packs deal. Seems quite strong. Here comes that steed. I think I want to try to save that for a secret. He did just uh, possibly discover a secret. I think it's tap circle here. So many possibilities. Lion's guard will come in and be huge. The moon catcher and the uh, seafloor savior, that would be the nightmare. Oh man, infiltrator valley. Come on, mech. Oh, that's pretty good. Private Shorty sees a target to hit. Opponent might be forced to uh, go into with the uh, gnome private. I don't actually have any mech in this deck when I look at this <laughs> deck, actually. Guess we just play that click clock or whatever. Okay. 
go, Dreadsteed, go! It's one of the Zoth value incoming. I actually wasn't going to tap, but I changed my mind, I will tap. Hey look, the, uh, the Dreadsteed is sometimes a buff because my board was too full for a moment, but now I have room for the Dreadsteed after. Ooh, I copied um, potentially another one of those. 6, 10, 12, 14, 16, lots of damage. I messed up no honorable kill with the Gnomish private. But I want to keep a fiendish circle. I don't have that many 3 drops. It's a good 3 drop. Actually better for me to trade, theoretically. Tracking their movements. But it's pretty greedy where if you set them up into a defensive stance. If you hit them and then they trade, that's really good for you. But their best move is to just hit you back. Well met. So it was a little bit of a dishonest play by me. Victim found for Gnome Private. Good card. I'm ahead, but good card. My hand does look pretty weak, so it's nice to just be able to put it all on the board. If something goes wrong, we have Doom. One, two, three, four. Well, gotta play it all to take advantage of the uh, six spawn value. Time for you to face my bog creature thing. Oh, 
Oh? Oh no! Ah yes, this bug is here. Destroy a beast and gain plus two plus two. Okay, good thing this isn't a beast. Okay, that's a pretty good grab. Sky Cap and Crag will cost zero. Note to self that he can destroy a beast. Okay. What a turn. Well then. Good thing we have Doom. I actually need this pelican to uh, kill that thing. 14, dang. Alright, so here's the plan. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, we can still do this. Bound to come this way. We can do this, we can do this. That was the worst card he could have put that on. We can do this. After your opponent plays a minion, attack it. I actually forgot that I would be able to rush with this. It went according to the plan that I had, but I forgot that my plan could have been better. Or maybe, maybe, I wanted the opponent to have that diver so the abomination would get so much stronger. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Yay! Lion's Guard. I'm not feeling it in this one. Right, it was only against that hunter that I kept it. Oof, what a strong open. Oh? Did you want to target something in the middle? Hmm. This will be quite the shooting star if it is shooting star. Oh, fire sail. That's pretty good. Okay, okay. Yeah, that life drinker just doesn't do enough. Not a lot of secrets in this format. Counterspell, Effigy, Ice Bear, Mirror Entity. I would bet on... Mirror Entity. Haha, <laughs> I have bad cards, eat it!
Woohoo. Um. That is pretty scary. But I don't really see it. I eh, better trade. Horses like to rush, I guess. Forgot entirely about the targeting middle thing. Alright, good thing I'm Warlock. Tap a bunch. Try to get a bad card. Uh. For combo? My hand's pretty heavy here. Ooh, peasant. Get over here, my hook. That mine's actually stopping the death wing. It's pretty wild. So many Fourteen, eighteen, twenty. Lord of the Arena. Five wins. Going better than expected. Ah, <sighs> toss it all. It's kind of weird tossing the one drops, but even against Paladin. But yeah, need proactiveness. Nice. Plain Flame Imps on turn one for almost a decade. Good times. <sighs> Full Blown Evil is a very good card. And it's on three. Yep, guess we'll take it. And I don't have to play it on three. It, it possibly could be a good play on three. Don't think it's worth it here. Private Shorty! Such a bully against the the guy, the man.
Hmm. Kinda of feel like I should kill that thing. But doing so is somewhat awkward. But if I get consecration, that'll be real bad. But killing it is a uh, a lot of work. Old lone evil tap. It's a pretty good answer. Alright, let's do that. The risk of ruin of Consecration was too high. There are a lot of better plays if you didn't have Consecration, but... This is not what, we stood for. what if it's Consecration? Forgot to play my one drop. Hmm. Don't let them harm the eggs. Initializing the scent. I think uh my play was so strong that it was like, okay, good enough. I'll use a dread steed map to clear the two two. Oh. Abomination is almost so good. I think I'll use it even though it's not optimal. Card. A little too slow, I think. I'm one damage short yet again. Here we go! You know it's real because we're up against the metaverse. But actually, Gold Mage with a cool skin. Out of the, uh. the rocky pull. Got some pretty questionable cards in my hand here. A counting wolf is gonna help Private Shorty get her kill though. Oh, their wolf alpha plus uh, this imp thing is actually pretty good.
Wow, what a cool coin. Good old faceless. Good old two faced investor. Value Kraken at least. Opponent's running out of cards, so we're getting to the point where the classic tap and win strap looks good. Got some pretty good cards in my hand. Uh, 50-50. Womp -a womp. I can one shot that. Whenever this minion takes damage, he remains plus one attack. Cool. Get lots of buffs. Max bottom does off value. Very good. Four. Convenient. Sure. Looks good. Oof, 
four cards left in the deck. They're all pretty minor cards. Can we make it to the end? Oh no. Okay, this is it for me. Let's go! Two, three, seven, twelve, fourteen. Seventeen. That's enough. Two, three, seven, twelve, fourteen, seventeen. Very good. Whew. Right at the end. Is that the 1,000 win portrait? Alright, good hand. Hmm. Chomp on this, you fool! Oh, it's Tavern Pass. Right. This is a really good hand. The rest of the deck is not this good, but this is a good hand. Oh, I hope he doesn't attack. <laughs> Would that indicate there are no pirates in that deck? Hmm. Tough decision? Gunsteed's gonna try to put in work again. Getting in on getting on its back. Let's go. Oof. Man, I had really strong early game here. Oh, rip out your Drake. Shall we put a king in their plan? But you do them small right. Wanted to tap, so good saboteur timing. Here on out, it's a tap each turn, other than nine. Man, I'm just drawing the good side of my deck. This rogue's like, this is the most insane warlock deck I've ever faced! Well, 
Life Drinker seems pretty good, but it's pretty low. I can play it this turn. Skip the top. It's fine. Womp womp. Dreaded Mountain has been doing such a work. I want to keep it in my hand. But I think I need early game cards. Ah, oh, Flame Imp. I'm a genius! This deck loves me. If only I waited until tomorrow, that would have killed the puffer fish. The uh, we're at the part where I tap a bunch, gain an advantage through the late game. This will work out. Good draw. Defends the two seven. the divine shield three four five two minutes four mana left over tap I guess first oh well, first might have been better Was a unfortunate refill for the opponent, but we have refill for days. But they have a bridge. It's a little scary. Uh, do I risk tapping? I'm obviously gonna play spawn. If I tap, I would want to play a three mana card or under. One, two, three, four. Of the cards are four plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the cards are three minus. I think I would rather tap, because I need to tap each turn. 
I think the cards in my hand are pretty good, so I should tap first. Darn. Darn. Looking rough. Box? <laughs> nope. Well it's a really bad box. <laughs> cool. Jaraxxus and Jacklick, right? Yes. <laughs> Carry me, Dredden Mount. Oh no, not Flame Juggler. Okay. Honestly, a really close call. Is another close call. Do I go with the Reef Locker, or do I go with the Dreaded Mount? I think the more uh, mounts I get in, the better. So mount, mount early and mount often. We're taking the slower line, to be certain. big card. Spawn of Deathwing will be a big swing here. But there's Colossals in there. Eh. Take the 4-5. It's really good. 5 mana, 6-6, six, six, kill a 4-5. That's, that's insane tempo. 5 mana, 10-11. Worth of effect. Get in there. Get in there before he digs up his Colossus. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's a lot of different Colossus that can be dredged up next turn. Not an obvious choice, maybe. Hmm. Or maybe two really good choices. Oh no. Hmm. He decided to clear. Does that mean that just Colossus doesn't clear the board? I wonder. Let's go. That is a pretty good crew. Okay, 
He's ran out of time. Punch him! Punch him hard! Oof. It's okay, one of them is dormant. There is an interesting idea that maybe I only ever win by so many top decking North Sea Kraken or Demonica Soul. Definitely a few outs. Alright, I'll try this. I think I'm uh, too far behind. We'll go for the one and six. Two out of twelve here. Plus some reverse outs. Okay, that was the right call to tap instead. Is there anything that I can discover here? I have things you never knew you wanted. <laughs> Run farm! Wow. I wonder if I keep the encumbered pack mill. You usually want to mulligan that card, but it's curve. Uh, I guess you coin out the three. Sure, these protect the two one. Seems like a good idea. Really, it's not too heavy. Oh. Okay. At the end of your turn, destroy your lowest attack minion to summon a 4-4 shade. I think that can work. And I was almost tempted to keep this uh, low attack minion here. Away from the board so you couldn't just get a free kill, but... I could see this working. 
I don't believe if I do the four damage AoE that I'll catch up ever. Okay, good. It's one of the things I was looking for. Pretty fortunate. TBH. Ignore the problem and it will go away. Da, 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 da. Lost the five mana four four. Oof. Okay. I wonder, am I supposed to play the shipment on turn one? Or am I supposed to cycle it? I'm pretty sure I play it. I mean, the more you have a good curve, the more you play it, I think. How's that going first? Is a good reason to play it. The queen's power is beyond your comprehension. I have things you never knew you wanted. I'm just thinking about if I have any death throttle minions in my deck. I think there's not a single one. There's Spawn of Nazoth. Oh, of course, there's the horse. But I don't have the horse in my hand. Oh, big decision. The Life Drinker is not going to be played for a while. My hand is all reactive. The Shellfish could actually be played proactively. Oh, okay. Alright. Four minutes, seven, seven. Let's go. Oof. Wait a second, you brought Mech Mage to Arena. Wait a second. Okay, Abomination eats the big thing before the shellfish. If this is his best answer, and KT doesn't have an answer to shellfish, which is good. Oh my god. I think shellfish will actually stick here. Let's go. 
And then we protect shellfish with mules and evil. Ugh. Ock. What? Okay. Agreed. Pow. Four mana, seven, seven, going places. Feel like I'm pulling off the king's gambit here. The queen's is forbidden. Oof. <laughs> Gorilla bot, curse you. Oh my god. Is insane. There was nothing I could do against the cheese monger. Okay, nine runs. Good run for this deck. Better than expected, honestly. A lot better than expected. Another run in the arena. You've saved enough gold. Thank you. That was a pretty good job. Any moment now. Ugh. What a second Drake fire anyway. Okay, legendary incoming. Woo! All right, this is one of the final easy legendaries. Will I finally get something that'll put me on a path? Interesting. That does put me on a path. It's uh, definitely a good reason to build a shaman deck. <laughs> 